Hello lovelies, and no one's on here yet, and it's just me, and that's totally okay with me. Um, I wanna share with us this beautiful energy that has been singing to my body and to my soul, um, and it all started with a poem. And so I'm gonna read the poem, and we're gonna talk about shifting fear into love and how we can do that really gracefully with using our body as an instrument. The poem is by Roca and it was translated by David White into English and it goes. Okay, we're, well maybe we'll wait for some people. We'll just hang out here and we'll stare at ourselves because that's exciting. I always have music in my head and my heart. Hello, lovely to see you. So we're gonna be reading a poem that is by Roca and it was translated by David White. And we're going to be talking about after that, how we can transform fear into love in a very graceful way by using our body as an instrument. So the poem goes, as so, you darkness from which I come. I love you more than all the fires that fence out the world. For the fire makes a circle for everyone, so no one sees you anymore. But darkness holds it all. The shape, the flame, the animal, and myself how it holds them. All powers, all sight. And it is possible its great strength is breaking into me, into my body. I have faith in the night. I'm gonna read it again. And sit with it, close your eyes. And just sit with this space and the words and how it makes you feel in your body. So close your eyes, maybe put your hands on your navel, wherever they feel comfortable. You darkness from which I come, I love you more than all the fires that fence out the world. For the fire makes a circle for everyone, so no one sees you anymore. But darkness holds it all the shape and the flame, the animal and myself, how it holds them. All powers, all sight. And it is possible its great strength is breaking into my body. I have faith in the night. So that is a poem by Roca, translated by David White. And when this poem came into my awareness in my world this last week, it had a great influence. Um, if you don't know what synesthetic is, it's something that all of us are in tune with. Um, and we might not even know that we have synesthetic experiences. For myself, my synesthesia is feeling based. It is very visceral. There's a visceral world that exists inside of the landscape of my body, as well as the landscape of my closed eyes and the world around me. And so certain poems or certain words or certain songs and tastes and environments or people's energies will, it, will influence my body to be in a synesthetic space of experiencing. And this poem in particular spoke to my body and the instrument of which my body is, um, speaking of the story of fear. So the darkness in this poem for me is the embodiment of fear and the, the fire is the embodiment of light. And how often is it that us as humans are in a space where we're totally infatuated with the light. We're totally infatuated with the experience of what 
things are, the material world, seeing things, gazing upon them, experiencing them, the life that light has and the story that light has and holds within itself. And how often are we, like imagine you're outside and you're in the middle of nature and you're in the circle around a fire with other people and you're all staring into the fire as we all do when there's a fire. We just are mesmerized by the dance. We're mesmerized by the experience of the warmth and the story and just the magic of it existing at all. And how often do we also do that in life where we're so infatuated by everything that's in front of us that is being lit up by light, whether that be humans or material things or experiences. And we're constantly looking into the light uh, looking for more things to experience in the light and we totally 100% forget about the other part of that dualistic story, which is the darkness. The darkness is what holds the light. The darkness is what holds us all. The darkness is how anything is created. Uh, an atom, if you, if you break an atom down, it's 99.999 etc. nines percent empty space. That empty space is embodying darkness. It's embodying nothingness. So the power of darkness, the power of nothingness is grand and it is great. And so this poem as it's speaking, you darkness from which I come, we all come from nothingness. We all come from, from the space of void and it's not anything other than light that distracts us and or creates the illusion of our ego and our experience. And so, you darkness from which I come, I love you more than all the fires that fence out the world. So imagine we're around this fire. Imagine we were mesmerized by its dance, by its warmth, and all of a sudden we come into the consciousness of what else is all around us. It's all dark. Everything's dark. Everything around us is dark other than that fire and whatever that light of the fire is touching. And what happens when we turn around and our back is facing the fire and we are now enraptured by darkness. The line, and it is possible its great strength is breaking into my body. I have faith in the night. You darkness from which I come. I love you more than all the fires that fence out the world. So for myself, coming into that space of what is, what is, what am I having my back turned towards? when I'm being infatuated by light and the experience of light experiences. I'm turning my back on the depth of experience. I am turning my back to fear of feeling the full enrapturement of the whole entirety experience of what this human life offers all of us. And recognizing in myself that I have been guided by fear my whole life. I have been acting as a character through fear my whole life. And I feel that fear popping up in my body in different situations. Let's say like when you, for me, when I step into social environments that I've never been in before, there's a fear, like an anxiety. Some people can fear, feel that as anxiety or a tightness in the chest or feeling like you can't speak. We all feel that in a different way. Our body is an instrument that's giving us all the information of what we're interacting with and how it's affecting our programming. And so when we are able to shift, let's say our fear into what's on the other side of fear, what's on the other side of fear is always love. We have to go through that fear. We have to walk through it. We have to experience that fear, allow its full depth to embody us so that we can experience all of it. We don't need to become it. 
but we get to experience the full enrapturement of that whole experience. And as we move through fear, we move out of fear and on the other side of fear is love. So a beautiful exercise I've been stepping in that was empowered by this beautiful poem, empowered by the beautiful awareness that was awakened within my synesthetic self, within my body, within my mind and my heart, is anytime I feel fear in my body, I get to recognize it. I get to acknowledge it, say, hello, fear. I see you, you're totally valid. I love you. And we have a great desire to transform you into love. And how do we do that? When I feel, or when we feel the whatever they are, let's say this one is anxiety. When we're feeling anxiety, the fear of anxiety comes in. When we started to feel that, we're like, okay, it's okay, I feel fear. I feel anxiety. It's okay that I feel that way. There's no shame. There's no guilt. I am in acceptance of my human experience and what is showing up for me right now. And as I acknowledge that, I get to speak with it or muse with it and inform that fear, inform that anxiety that we get to now experience sensuality and shifting fear into sensuality. Because I know that as I step into fear, and as I know, as I step into fear, and I know that on the other side of fear is love, that the love part is the orgasm. It's the orgasmic experience of being human and the human experience of moving through fear. There's always an orgasmic experience that happens through that and after that, that's love. So as I shift my fear into the sensual feeling, instead of anxiety, I acknowledge the anxiety and I tell the anxiety, I honor you, I hear and see you, and let us now shift into sensuality. Let us now shift into ecstatic expression. I'm going to step into my fear. I am gonna step into the space because I know as I'm moving through it, especially as I'm moving through it and I'm transmuting the energy, turning it into sensuality, that I'm moving and going through this experience, knowing that there is something orgasmic on the other side of that. And that is life changing. I desire to share that information with all of us and for all of us to be in the experience of experimenting with that because it doesn't hurt to experiment with things, especially when it comes to our own instrument and how we are the sculptors of our, our body, how we are the sculptors of our spirit and how we feel. We are the sculptors of our perception. We are the sculptors of our environments. And knowing that and knowing that we can make it so much more enjoyable and fun and playful because we're experimenting and playing it it gives life a new flavor and it's excitement. So I wanna share that with all of us. I desire for all of us to step into this beautiful, unconditionally loving space. And I'm so grateful to be building that community of unconditional love and support with all of us. Mm -hmm. Happy Thursday and uh, feel free to follow us on our Instagram if you don't already and in our link you can find all of our other things that we're doing as well. Uh, stay in tune with the community. We're here to share and connect more deeply and more compassionately and show up authentically. It's okay to be in fear. It's okay to have your body experience. A lot of us have experienced a lot of trauma and we're coming into the awareness now and it's okay to process that. And it's okay to do that gracefully and slowly and compassionately. You don't need to change it all at once. You don't need to do this ecstatic, crazy, life-shattering programming thing all at once. You can do it really gracefully. And so here's just one tool that we can work with. Let us know how it works for you over the next couple days or a week. And we would love to hear back. Love us.